Is everybody ready to have some fun tonight? Any hey. Friday night, weather like this, and we're inside, but yet it's still super cool and nice outside. It's going to be fantastic. Tonight, there is a lot going on in this little barn. We've got some great people. I want to talk, touch base on a few things that are happening. First off, although most of you can't see it yet, there's a photo booth upstairs. We encourage everybody, you, yourself, or you and your spouse, or you and your friend, get up there, take a photo of yourselves at this party. Uh, it is $5, and $3 of that goes right back to Paw Pantry. So that's going on. Uh, we've got all kinds of cool photographers around here tonight taking party pics, which is great. Right behind them, as you walked in, I know everyone was so excited to get in here. Right there is called a grub grab. Uh, Paul Pantry's worked really hard with a lot of participating restaurants and, and businesses. All you got to do is come up there, grab that little card so no one else can get it. You're going to get, uh, you'll pay what's on the actual card uh, to the girls up front and that'll be yours to use at those participating restaurants and businesses. So we got that. They got some Paul Pantry shirts for sale. There is an open bar over there that uh, Bears has uh, kindly brought their best bartender for the night uh, to serve us your beverages of choice. Uh, live auction. You've got the uh, your event program in front of you. Kids, tonight we've got over $7,000 worth of auction items going on. So get ready for a lot of fantastic fun with that. And a little bit later we'll talk about the auction rules. A lot of you have been to auctions before. Some of, the, some of you that have not will give you a little uh, quick training lesson on how these auctions go. They'll be a lot of fun. Also, and Crystal will talk later hopefully because I don't know all the details, but there is a contest for cutest pet over here uh, for these pictures. It's an ongoing thing and I think she'll talk a little bit more about that. Restrooms. Uh, there is a restroom, I believe, right next to our bartender there, that brown door. So if you need to use the restroom, uh, feel free to go there. Outside, just so you know, right outside this door and right behind the large sliding door there, uh, if you, there's a uh, smoking area if someone needs to go out and smoke so you can go there. There's a little butt kit for that. And with that, we're going to start sending our lovely servers around. And they're actually going to come around with a card and take your order. I believe there's three choices. There is chicken, pasta, and steak. So they'll come around, get that from you, uh, get that to the cooks in the back, and we'll start serving dinner shortly thereafter. So again, uh, we'll turn the music back on and uh, just uh, visit with your friends and, and have a little fun, and we'll get started with the food. So there we go. and gentlemen, if I can have everyone's attention, I hope everybody has enjoyed your dinner or is continuing to enjoy your dinner. Let's give a big round of applause, I'm not even sure if he's here, but to TJ and his crew for cooking Ben, uh, the executive director of Paul Pantry, Miss Crystal. First and foremost, I wanted to thank you guys for joining us tonight. Um, I just wanted to let you know that to date, we have been able to help 135 pets. Um, that is an increase of 82% from last year, which is 111. So that's awesome. Um, we're obviously able to achieve this because of the fundraising events, the businesses that support us, um, our volunteers, everyone that's a part of helps us out everything. We're able to achieve that because of you. Um, I want to do a special thanks um, for our sponsors, Bears. Um, they're amazing. They, I can always count on them. They're great. Uh, Petsway, Springfield Builders, uh, Morrison, Webster, and Carlton, Downstream Casino, uh, I Verify Background Screening, Casey's, Preston Dental, and Dairy Queen. Um, obviously, without them, we would not be able to have this event. So, um, Another thank you to the Wilkin family who own this beautiful place. Um, Kelly Reed for um, designing our programs. They're amazing. She did that. She donated her time. So I would love to clap for her because she had to put up with me. <laughs> um, Ron Peabody for um, being our host and auctioneer. He's great. We'll, we'll that later. Um, 
uh, Chris Grant with Platinum Press Plus Productions. He um, always is our man to go to. Um, our cook, Chef TJ, he's amazing. He made all of your food. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we will be auctioning him off later, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Uh, Crystal's Creations and Simber Boone for the desserts and the fruit um, from Heidi. Um, last but certainly not least, I personally wanted to thank my board of directors um, and all the event committee members. Without this, without them, I cannot do this. By my, I can't do it. So I just personally wanted to thank you. They put up with my stressful moments, and <laughs> I truly appreciate that. So you guys are awesome. Um, I did invite one of our assisted families that we have helped in the past to come and speak for you guys tonight so you could kind of get a gist of the impact that we do have on people and families and pets and things like that. So with that, Carrie Ann, would you like to come up? As a society, we tend to minimize the importance of our pets. We forget they're the common bond in our family. Whether they're making us laugh or yell, angry or happy, there's always a conversation to be had about your dogs, or cats, sorry. <laughs> and there's a shared responsibility in caring for them. I don't know what we would have done without the public paw pantry, but I do know our family is together because of them, and for that I will forever be thankful. Now 60, I'm a 55, now 60, I'm a 60, now 65, 65, now 70, I'm a 65, now 70 dollars, I'm a 65, 70, 70 dollars where? I'm a 65, you're in at 65, you won't pay 70, that's good, I'm a 65, now 70 where? I'm a 65, now 70 dollars, 60. <laughs> no, no, it's 150 right now. <laughs> It's, it's at 50, now 60. 60, now 70. I'm going to 60 here, now 70 where? I'm at 60. Now. Mr. Greg Hicks, come on up. Now Greg is 36 years old. He's 36 He is 36. He's fresh. 36 today. Must be nice. <laughs> and he is a concrete foreman. That's right. His hobbies are rugby, hot rods, and his skill set, he's a jack of all trades, which he is, so he can do it all. Uh, Greg, would you like to say a few words that seem to work out for TJ? What? Let's talk about that skill set a little bit. I like pretty flowers. He can plant flowers. No, really. Uh, building stuff or clean up, yard work, some round the house electrical, everything. So really he, he can do it. Just shovel gravel last year, all kinds of stuff. And remember, it's for a good cause. Oh, see? It comes out slowly. Snake regular. Who would have thought? All right, what else? Keep asking those questions. Cause... All right, here we go. Let's go. I'm at $100. Let's go. 100 where? Let's go. Last one.